Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is uh, another Indie Comics review. I'm your host, Lorenzo, and this time I'm doing Kaiju, Kaiju Score, which is written by James Patrick and art by Rem Bro. A Rem Bro? I think it's Rem Bro, the person's name. Uh, I gotta say, this may be the best thing I read last week of uh, the new books. Um, I was on the fence about it. I was hesitant about even picking it up. Uh, walked through the shop, it was the last copy. I'm so glad I picked it up. This is awesome. Uh, this is a story about a guy named Marco. He's kind of a genius in a way, but in a certain other ways, he's kind of a screw up as well. And he's playing this heist. He needs uh, to assemble this team of, uh, of uh, criminals to, to pull this heist on this, this, this like $50 million piece of artwork, which is buried, uh, they, they bury it in a, in, a, in a vault in the ocean uh, when natural disasters happen. So it turns out kaijus are like natural disasters in this world. Uh, there's like kaiju warnings and kaiju uh, threats. It's like hurricanes and this takes place in Florida. So uh, when you open the story, Marco's trying to assemble his team. Nobody wants to back Marco. So he finally gets a meeting with this guy who is like kind of a <laughs> the lowest of the low, but he's got, he's got a yacht, but he's kind of a, a, a scumbag as well. Uh, and he, he assembles the team on this yacht and he pitches the, the, the heist to uh, the rich guy, which is a the, the rich financier, uh, loan shark, scumbag guy. Uh, there's a woman who's a safe cracker. There's a, another guy who's like, a, he's kind of a, he, he's an equipment man. He's good at what he does, but he's like a jinx, kind of like uh, William H. Macy in uh, The Cooler. Uh, this just, just just bad luck wherever he goes. And then there's another guy who's just like the muscle. He's kind of a big dumbass who breaks, breaks faces. And Marco. So he's pitching this, this idea. The idea is that they are going to wait until the, it's kaiju season. Kaiju season happens at a certain time of the year. And they're waiting for the, the alert for the kaiju is coming, up, 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 um, coming uh, on, onto land. Because once the kaiju comes on the land, everyone's evacuated except for the National Guard. And that's when they're free to move in and crack the safe and steal the painting. So he's going with, well with his presentation so far, but then he tells the people like, yeah, so what we're gonna do is like wait for the kaiju to come come aground and we're gonna just, just hang out uh, near the kaiju that way nobody's gonna come near us because the National Guard keeps like a, a mile radius. They make sure they don't come close to the kaiju. They don't wanna rile the thing. And everyone's like, you're crazy. But he says like, okay, well, I'll prove it to you. So, so he, he goes eventually and um, he waits for uh, the kaiju to come aground. There's an evacuation. People are, all the traffic's going one way. Nobody's going the other way because it's like a, you know, it's like a natural disaster. You know, kaiju's coming. And he takes a selfie next to the, the kaiju. And he proves him like, kaiju's really don't give a damn about you as long as you stay out of their way. You know, that's just, that's just like, Please them, you know, just as long as you're not messing with them, there's no worry. So that convinces everybody that, okay, we're gonna go through with this heist. But you can see things developing. There's some there's some drama going on with uh, the safe cracker. She's, um, <laughs> she, she's a piece of work. Uh, so the, the Jinx guy, there's a funny scene with him at a, at a dog at a dog race track. It's, 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 it's as funny as a dog race track scene can be. And it, that's just, this book is so well written and there's so much snappy dialogue and it's smart dialogue too. It's, it's, it can tell this, a lot of stuff here is well researched. The artwork uh, by, uh, by by Rem Bro is just beautifully like abstract and and uh, just not, I mean, it's, it's, some people might not like it because I know a lot of folks love the hyper-realism. I mean, I love me some Alex Ross too. You know, Alex Ross is a generational talent when it comes to painters, but I also love people who um, who have this uh, 
this is more abstract kind of a you know a, what's the word I'm looking for like a, I don't know just just just, just uh, whatever the word is they, they they have this 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 artwork that you have to see to me it works if you are if the, the artist brings you into their world and you buy the world that they're creating the world that they're building works for you if, if that works then i'm in you know I, I know that an arm doesn't look like this or whatever you know but who cares i mean there's one thing i remember from from art school and there's a lot of stuff i forgot from art school is this teacher told me once uh she gives this assignment to the class she said, i want you to draw something that you can't take a picture of and that's that stayed with me because what's the point if you're just going to do everything photorealistic just take a damn damn photo of it i mean now you've got such great photography you know we can just do everything live action so if you can create this world where i where things are not quite the same as the real world and i accept it and man that that's all i'm asking for in a in a story so uh, Bro, or bro, whoever the, the artist is here, does a great job. Uh, James Patrick tells, he's got the snappiest dialogue, you know, this side of Bendis. Uh, I am so in on Kaiju score, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm down with this. If this becomes, I don't know, if this becomes like a, I hope it's an ongoing series. I think it's just a, a, a five or a five or six part uh, series, but. I'm down for anything Kaiju score and probably anything by this team uh, from now on. So that being said, uh, that's going to do it for this Indie Comics review. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button so you can be notified when I make a new video. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Thanks for stopping by and uh, peace. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.